colors, oh my goodness, you've got every color under the rainbow. Do they work? Yes, they all work. Probably this one right here, and this is a white with a red, and I got some up here to show you. Uh, white is good, except for some of the stuff that you get into, you'll have a white bed, okay? Like in Florida, a lot of times it's a white sandy bed or white bed, and you pull it into it, you, all of a sudden you can't see it anymore. Well, you want something that not only you can see, but the fish can see, so a lot of times I'm using black. I'm using something that's silhouette, something that makes a, a, you know, a big thing, but makes a difference that you can see it. As long as you can see it, chartreuse is really good, you know, just something like this with a chartreuse. Um, <clears throat> every now and then I need a natural color. Most of the time when I'm sight fishing on a spawning bed, it's something wild, okay? If I'm sight fishing during the fall or summer or something and I'm seeing them cruising, it's as natural as you can get. Okay, so you want it to be just like the crawfish that are there. You want it to be just like the gobies that are there. You want it to be, you know, pick out the natural colors, your, your, your watermelons, your green pumpkins, and all those kind of things. That's the color you use when they're not on beds. When they are on beds, you know, you use something, you know, kind of bulky and, and something that you can see, because visibly you need to see it. Every soft plastic bait made catches them on the bed. Okay, there have been times when a 10 inch worm like the anaconda, you know, the big crawfish, uh, you know, space monkey's pretty cool. I just like the name, but it's a great bait. It's got a lot of action and all that. Lizards. I have lizards on almost as much as I have tubes. Okay, tubes being number one, lizards are probably number two. Right behind that, and actually there's a new one. Let me show you this, which is that one right there. And it's not that new, but it's new enough. The rodent, the big four inch rodent is phenomenal on a bed. It's just, it's great. In fact, the uh, four inch rodent, and uh, I'll pick out the color right there, it is number 50, is what I caught my biggest bass in my life on. Okay, <clears throat> I caught him last year or two years ago at Toho, sight fishing in a PAA tournament, and it was like 13, 13 point whatever, but it turns out to be almost 13 pounds, six, six ounces. And the biggest one I had prior to that was 13.5, so they were real close to each other. But that. So, and I mean, how many guys use, you know, Ocho's and Cinco's and finesse worms and shaky heads? It all works, okay? They, if it's a soft plastic bait, it's probably going to be okay on a bed, okay? But my best ones, and I'll repeat them tube bait, okay, lizard, and rodent, okay? After that, obviously a crawfish. Sometimes these caffeine shads, excellent but those are gonna be my, my top ones. And of course, right here, the Rage Hog, okay, that's one of them that's really good too. Jigs, a lot of guys, that's all they throw on, on sight fishing. In fact, one of the big, big time sight fishing guys at uh, Mike Long, you may have heard of Mike, uh, catching all those big 18, 19, 20 pounders in California. I don't know how many giants he's caught, but he's caught tons, I went and fished with him. His first choice is like a jig, white jig. And, and most guys love white jigs for sight fishing, you'll see it a lot of times. I mean, you see Timmy Horton pitching on a big white jig. You know, all these guys do it, white jig. Works well, so, um, you know, I kind of prefer having a little more soft plastic. For some reason, I feel they hold it a little better, but I like the jig, I mean, the hooks better. I mean, one big giant, I mean, we got these trocars that you just, you know, you could bury them now. And, and so I'm, I'm a little more confident with um, a soft plastic a Texas rig than I am a regular jig, but a jig is awesome. Okay, just awesome for it. You can even catch them on swim baits. Uh, they, they go crazy. I mean, some of the bigger fish, the big females, they may not even look at the little stuff. Okay, and then all of a sudden you take something like a swim bait, pitch it in there, and it's sinking down. And they go absolutely ape. Okay, so they just want to go nuts. I got to get this thing out of there. They crush it. You got, you're on. Okay, so <clears throat> that's tremendous for cyclists. And the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.